What's up guys, Clutch Fan Thirst Center, I'm going to show you and talk to you guys a bit about my new favorite head. For those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you understand where the name Clutch Fanatic come or came from, um, how I've always been trying to find a new favorite head, and I'd say the head was my favorite, and then three weeks later switched out for something different. Um, so this season I spent pretty much the whole season using a Lakota U. I switched it up here and there, but primarily stuck with the Lakota U for the spring season. Absolutely loved it, but I felt like it was time to find something different. Um, so without further ado, as much as I hate to say it, my new favorite head is the Warrior Rabel 2X. Uh, I've never really been a fan of Paul Rabel. Yes, he's probably the best player in the MLL. He is unstoppable. His work ethics are incredible, but as a person, I just don't like him too much. Uh, I met him a couple times, and I don't know, I just get a weird vibe from him. Um, so I always hated selling kids Rabel heads in my work. I always hated talking about it, but I figured to actually just try one out, and I actually really like it for shooting. Um, so this is my game right now. Obviously, it's Carolina Blue. Um, if you're colorblind, it's Carolina Blue. It's got one nylon, one straight, String King 2S mesh, my favorite top string to do, which I'll do a tutorial on here in a little while. Um, next time I string up a head this way. Um, so the pocket itself, um, I'm switching more to a bit of a mid pocket, I guess you could say, um, but it is still just as shifty, just the way I like it. Shifts low for one hand cradling and then shifts back up there. The tension point is right here about in the middle of the head, so that's where I get a lot of my snap from. Also, the shooting string is relatively tight. Um, so overall, I mean, I think this head is pretty awesome. I have seen them break a lot right here where the Simrail technology is, but I'm not too worried about it. So um, the pattern is uh, I kind of copied mainly mesh a bit, or I guess to a point with how they strung up their Rabel for Paul Rabel himself. Um, so top string is done on the first hole. Starting on the second hole, you're going to tie it on, skip two, do a knot, skip one, do a knot, skip two, do a knotted SI, um, right there, and then I changed it up and went knotted SI, I skipped this hole going through one, did a one, uh, skipped two holes, went through two, so I get that nice little shifty effect, and then ended up on this hole. Um, I'm really not a one person to, I guess, write out a pattern because I find it a little confusing. Um, so, I mean, there's that. You can just kind of take a look at that. I'll definitely post in the description. Uh, nothing too fancy for the bomb string. Um, just a shooter, so the string king mesh doesn't rip, which I haven't ever had a problem with, but some people have. So, sticking with that. Um, so, yeah, I've actually been experimenting with the Rabel 2 for uh, about a month and a half now. Towards the end of the season, I picked one up and started messing around with it, not using it, but just kind of get a feel for it. Um, and that's what this guy is right here. It's a white one. Uh, gray string king 2s one nylon one straight navy blue um, definitely going to fix up this pattern and mimic this one um, so this is where i first started liking the rabel it's a little difficult to string in my opinion at least from my pocket just because i like something that's mid to mid low somewhat baggy a little shifty but also has a lot of snap to it so that was my first fault with this one was getting that because the pattern really wouldn't allow me to but i'm going to fix it up to match the baby blue one and my third one, I call this one Black Betty. Um, so basically it's on the new Burn Diamond Shaft, which is basically a crypto light with the diamond grip to it. Um, then it's an all blacked out Rabel. Unfortunately we didn't have any solid black shooters, so I went with the black with the white. Um, same thing, got to switch this pattern up to match that one. And change this double nylon, or I guess braided nylon, to just a normal one. And once we get straight flat black shooters, do the same thing. So currently own three Rabel 2Xs and I really enjoy them. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Maybe you guys will try this pattern out and tell me if you like it or not. Um, definitely worth picking them up minus the price point. 110 is ridiculous but you're also paying for the Paul Rabel name which again is why I don't agree with it but it is what it is. So um, yeah this is what I'm going to be rocking this summer and maybe this coming uh, fall and spring season. Uh, let me know what your guys' game setup is. I'd love to hear it and uh, get your guys' opinions on the actual Rabel 2X.